We're going to talk about dishwasher detergents for a minute. Now, arguably, I think Cascade and Finish are probably the best environmentally safe dishwasher detergents on the market. However, what this has done to my dishwasher and what this leaves behind every time is this green purpley residue. And that's just on the stainless steel part that will wipe off and internally it leaves a lot of residue as well. So what I'm going to show you in this video is a phosphated detergent. Now I'm not here to debate the effects of phosphated detergent on the environment. That's for somebody else. There's plenty of primary literature out there and I'm not here to make sense of that. I'm simply here to tell you the mechanical aspects of keeping the dishwasher running. So the other thing that this has happened, and this is my pre-filter, if it will focus, and you can see there's some food stuck in it. So with the environmentally friendly dishwasher detergent, I have to clean this out every time. And eventually what's going to happen is the locking lugs on this are going to break and need to be replaced. Probably it's, uh, circumventing uh, any positives that one or two dishwashers would have with using safer detergent. So let's some more you. soap scum and build up on the filter of my dishwasher. And again you can see the greenish purplish color uh, that that detergent leaves on stuff. All right, a friend of mine found this on Amazon, and it's kind of a godsend. This is Cascade uh, Fry Out, and this is a commercial cleaner. It's actually not listed at home to be used in dishwashers, so I'm not responsible if this breaks your dishwasher. By the way, that's, that's up to you. You use this at your own risk. But that being said, this works really well. So we're going to put some of this in here, and my dishwasher is actually old enough, even though it's a 2008, it's marked for powder detergent. We're going to put that on there. Now anybody who's older than a millennial or uh, knows the smell of phosphated detergent, and this will bring back memories of what detergent used to smell like. The cool thing is when the dishes are done, they... Um, they don't have a detergent smell to them, which is really nice. There's really no odor. There's no taste or anything, which sometimes can happen uh, with this stuff right here. So now these are both Cascade. Again, uh, that's a coincidence. I'm no way sponsored by Cascade, uh, just, just to let you know. So let's load the dishwasher up and see what it does. All right, well, I've loaded the dishwasher up, and I'm sure somebody's going to tell me in the comments I'm doing it wrong, but whatever. Yeah, we can probably fit more stuff in here, but, you know, for the sake of demonstration, we're going to put that in there. We're going to turn her on, and she is on Power Scrub Plus for 97 minutes, which is one of the longer cycles on there. All right, we're going to open the dishwasher and see if that color has disappeared and how clean the dishes are. All right, well, you can see the color has definitely faded. So you can see how after just one run, let me zoom in there, just one run, you can see that there's a spot of it, but over here it started to clean itself out. So I imagine as I run this, because I've gone through this rodeo before, I've actually used this stuff for a couple months and then I ran out and then went out to other soap and now I've decided to go back to this other soap um, because the phosphates are good. And you saw this thing was super dirty and now it's ultra clean. Um, so we're going to continue running this and uh, with this phosphate. So I'll maybe turn the camera on after this has been running a few more times to show you how much it's cleaned out. 
Now let's just take a look at the filter because I'm super curious about that. Here. And this is again exactly what happened before. Is it starts to clean out the gunk on this filter. And you see the white stuff. But what's interesting with this particular detergent is I don't see food anywhere. A lot of times with the other detergent, food will get caught in here and stuck in here. Again, that's the design of the dishwasher. But with this, it seems to dissolve the food, which I think is a very good thing. And you can see ultra, ultra clean glass right there. Just what you want from your dishwasher. All right. We are going to do um, round two with my dishes. Uh, see if we can't get rid of some of this green stuff. And maybe you can see the green stuff right there. And we've, again, using the fry out. So, well, the dishwasher is done. So let's see how much of that has been removed. Ooh. Wow, it's hot. So we can see that most of the scum has been removed. There's some sort of hard water marks right now. Let's see. And you can see the white stuff. Oops, let me put that in frame. It will focus the white stuff that was in the filter. There is a little bit of food or whatever. Uh, but that's no longer in the filter right now. It will focus there. So that's a, a good sign. We do have, you know, a little bit of food and stuff that's normal. So kind of like the looks of that. And something that's interesting is this coffee mug in here had turned uh, as the color of my dishwasher. You might be able to see it. it's a little green on one side still. But it was green on the inside when I put it in. Now it's not. So... It's removed that layer of soap that seems to interact with certain types of stainless steel. All right, let's see if we can't just uh, get rid of the rest of the deposit here along with the food trash. Can you restart? All right, let's take a look at the dishwasher, see how it did. All right, it's almost completely gone. Definitely looks a lot better. Still a little discolorization, but not nearly as much as there was. If you zoom in here, just a little bit left in the door, but it's definitely cleaned out a lot of stuff. All right, I'm hoping this is going to be the last load. All right, it's the next morning. Let's see uh, how clean the dishwasher is. I still have a little bit of residue, but noticeable less. Everything's still coming out really clean. I will say, um, you know, it's about a month and a half worth of residue we're trying to remove. Um, so we'll see next load how that goes. All right, we've been running the phosphates through the dishwasher for about a week now. Let's see what the dishwasher looks like now. Uh, we can see the discoloring is completely gone. There's no green stuff or any of that residue that was right here. All that's gone. Let's see what the dishes look like. Nice and clean. Um, this last time I, I ran this on its quick 28 minute cycle, which doesn't dry the dishes. But give you an idea what was in here. Oh, this is from a jar. Uh, but we don't really see any of the uh, soap debris in the filter anymore, which is really a good thing. All right. Well, thanks for watching, folks. And um, check out the link below uh, if you're interested in trying this phosphate. Uh, it's not shampoo. It's soap uh, detergent in your dishwasher. I highly recommend it. Um, this is now my third box of this. 
and quite a few of my friends have started using this. Comment below if you've used phosphates before or if you were looking to use phosphates. Give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe.